Julie Terrio because she wrote this amazing book, Physical Biology of the Cell. Plus, I met her during a course she was organizing, and I think she's one of the most sharp and open scientists working at the interface of physics and biology. Uh, is Rita Levi Montalcini, uh, due to her tenacity and conventional thinking and her engineering experiments that led to the field uh, of uh, neurobiology. Um, I would say Barbara McClintock. She was a geneticist in the first half of the 20th century and she was really ahead of her time in demonstrating DNA recombination that is important for shuffling traits between parents and offspring and also demonstrated transposable elements. These are bits of DNA that move around in all organisms and she did all this before the structure of DNA had actually been solved. The one that shines out is my PhD supervisor um, Eileen Cox, who is a botanist at the Naturalist Museum. Um, she was just so open and um, made time for me uh, to go and ask her questions. And when I arrived, I was a computer scientist who knew nothing about uh, plants or biology, really. And she absolutely inspired me to um, uh, move, actually, into that field and, uh, and basically showed me that you can spend your life, if you wanted to, uh, doing something you really love every day.